Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be creating an Azure uh, diagram. This is a secure, you know, hub spoke topology uh, diagram with private endpoints. So let's get started. So I'll start with creating uh, two blocks. Uh, this is just a general rectangular shape and I will have uh, the virtual networks in this. So uh, a hub spoke uh, virtual network, that's what I'm trying to create. Uh, this video is, uh, you know, uh, running on twice the original speeds for uh, you know for, to shorten the actual uh, duration of the video so uh, yeah this is a bit fast forward uh, not fast forward but yeah it's running twice the speed this is my hub subscription and there is a hub virtual network this is my spoke subscription it has a spoke virtual network and then let me search for if you uh, all these shapes you are uh, I've got all the Azure shapes already imported so I should be able to get the virtual network this is my virtual network icon it's an Azure networking uh, you know uh, the shapes category so if you go, uh, if you want, if you don't have this available, you will just need to import that from more shapes. And how to do that? We have got it in a different video. So go and check that out. So this is done. The hub and spoke virtual network. I'll create multiple uh, uh, boxes within this hub virtual network as a depiction of my subnets. For example, let's call this gateway subnet let this be the azure firewall subnet and similarly whatever sub subnets that i need i will create those let me do that uh, i would need a subnet for private endpoints so any any res shared resources that i need in my hub virtual network and that needs a, a private endpoint uh, that will sit in this subnet, the private endpoint subnet. Let's connect the hub and spoke. Let me bring that virtual network back into the box. This looks good. Uh, so right now I'm creating a subnet for my spoke so since i am trying to create a secured environment i want all my spoke resources to have private endpoints and those private endpoints you know will be reachable from my hub via the vpn so all the dns entries will be done in my hub but the private endpoint will be created in my uh, you know specific spoke virtual networks this is my SQL server and this is the private endpoint for my SQL server. So this SQL server, I want it to be accessed via the VPN uh, using the private endpoint. So this is my user who will be accessing that SQL server. This is the corporate network. So whether it's a point to site or site to site or an express route, this is how it would look like. This is fine. You can always, you know, align uh, to have more symmetry. Symmetry is very important when you create diagrams. And this is my P2S or site to site or an express route. VPN, which will terminate, and my hub virtual network, which will have a you know, gateway, a virtual network gateway, and route all the DNS queries using my azure private dns resolver uh, that's an icon of express route that's an icon of vnet gateway vnet gateway is port you know you will have the virtual uh, private network the vpn setup for so all your request will terminate there using your vpn 
that will have a dedicated subnet called gateway subnet that's one of the requirements also we will have azure dns private resolver to resolve all our dns queries uh, we can have a firewall so the subnet will again be dedicated to azure firewall So far so good. This subnet uh, I will drop in my Azure. Yeah, so this is my private DNS resolvers. Actually private DNS zones and this is the DNS resolver. I want my private DNS, so private DNS resolver will have two subnets uh, that it needs. One for the inbound and one for the outbound. So let me drop that in. So inbound is where you, uh, you know, uh, your actual DNS uh, queries or or will end up. So if you have a local uh, DNS server, so when you do a conditional forwarding, you will use this inbound uh, IP uh, that your private DNS resolver will have. Uh, it you can all also have a external one uh, i mean the outbound subnet we'll do that later uh, let's do the vp uh, let's do the vnet peering so this is vnet peering that's for communication between the hub and the spoke virtual networks looks good so a request will from a user will use the vpn v2 p2s or s2s or whatever and it will terminate into the gateway. It will use your uh, firewall if required. Otherwise, uh, it will just use the uh, private DNS resolver. And if there are private DNS zones, that's referring to the private endpoint of my SQL server, it will resolve. And that uh, communication only uh, happens via the VNet peering. So that's another important component. Uh, looks good so far. I think uh, this is pretty much it. It's a secure uh, diagram for Azure, uh, you know, uh, an Azure uh, SQL Server uh, using HubSpoke topology. You can create uh, something similar with all your landing zones. So yeah, that's it. That's uh, I hope you learned something new. Thanks for watching.